So another epic NFL regular season is now in the books. Just know that the Kansas City Chiefs are never underdogs. Just know that. So, with the final order of the draft set, how about we dive into our post-Super Bowl edition of the 2024 NFL First Round Mock Draft. Number 1. Chicago Bears – Caleb Williams Justin Fields may develop into a superstar QB someday, but the Bears need to take the guy with higher upside. Drafting Williams also means the benefit of having a franchise signal caller on a rookie deal for the next five years. Get extra draft capital for Fields, then take the best QB available here in Williams. This should be a no-brainer for the Bears brass. Number 2. Washington Commanders – Drake May no team has an easier choice in the draft than the Commanders. Sit there and happily take whichever QB remains between Williams and the North Carolina signal caller. May's frame, arm, and dual thread style have drawn comparisons to the likes of Josh Allen and Justin Herbert. Yet, yeah, something tells us a team in QB purgatory like the Commanders are going to want this kid. Number 3. New England Patriots – Marvin Harrison Jr. We're torn between Harrison Jr. and Jaden Daniels here. Then we remember that the Patriots' next quarterback won't be in position to succeed with this current supporting cast, hence why they need to take the best wide receiver prospect in a generation. Plus, nobody said that they can't trade up to take another QB like J.J. McCarthy or Michael Penix Jr. later on. Bottom line, this rebuild needs to start with Harrison Jr. Number 4. Arizona Cardinals – Romo Dunze The Cardinals should be excited about the idea of a Kyler Murray-Trey McBride tandem for a full season. Now add a future All-Pro wideout and Odunze in the offense, and the sky will be the limit for this group. Odunze's frame, slick speed, and football IQ has drawn comparisons to Cardinals legend Larry Fitzgerald. Yeah, you think Arizona fans would like him? I do. You're going to be staring at Roma Dunze, who is, to me, is like a Larry Fitzgerald-type talent. He is an outstanding player. Number 5. Los Angeles Chargers – Joe Alt The Chargers already have one stud offensive tackle in Rashawn Slater, but the rest of the O-line leaves a lot to be desired. Pair Slater with Notre Dame's Joe Alt and Justin Herbert may soon be the beneficiary of football's best offensive tackle duo. Not to mention, and that Alt would help greatly bolster the Chargers' lackluster ground game, regardless of whether or not Austin Eckler actually returns. Number 6. New York Giants – Malik Neighbors We wouldn't hate it if the Giants took a quarterback here, but Big Blue desperately needs a game-changing wideout that they haven't had since Odell Beckham Jr. in 2018. Neighbors averaged a ridiculous 17.6 yards per catch at LSU last season. There's a case to be made that the Giants should keep Daniel Jones and pair up that deep arm of his with Neighbors' elite ability to stretch the field. Number 7. Tennessee Titans – Olamuiwa Fashanu the Titans allowed 64 sacks last season, with Will Levis taking 28 in just 9 games. Clearly, reinforcements on this unit are desperately needed. The Titans used their 2023 first-rounder on Peter Skaronski, who had future All-Pro written all over him. Now add a top-two tackle from the 2024 class to the mix, and the Titans will have a super bright long-term outlook in the trenches. Number 8. Atlanta Falcons – Jaden Daniels what a dream scenario this would be for the Falcons. Daniels, B. John Robinson, Tyler Algier, Drake London, and Kyle Pitts. Oh yeah, we're all game for that offensive nucleus. And Daniels' arrival would immediately make the Falcons the team to beat in the NFC South. Number 9. Chicago Bears – Dallas Turner Having secured their new franchise QB at first overall, the Bears can now focus on addressing the defensive side of the ball. Montez Sweat proved to be a savvy trade deadline pickup for Ryan Poles. Adding Turner to the mix gives Chicago two five-star edge rushers that can take over a game at any given moment. Moment. Number 10. New York Jets – Talisi Fuaga It took the Jets just a few minutes of Aaron Rodgers' debut to pay the price for neglecting the offensive line last offseason. Well, not this time. They have to take the best offensive lineman available in the draft, which is Oregon State's Talisi Fuaga. Number 11. Minnesota Vikings – Chop Robinson wouldn't be shocked if Minnesota eyed a quarterback here, but they're going to need another pass rusher if Daniil Hunter departs in free agency. A do-it-all disruptor in the trenches like Robinson is tailor-made for Brian Flores' defense. Number 12. Denver Broncos – Brock Bowers Bowers has been widely graded as a top-five prospect in this draft, but as everyone knows, teams are rarely prioritizing tight ends early in the draft, so take your pick on where the Georgia product actually lands. Denver, however, could especially use Bowers' explosive game-changing skills. They haven't had a one 1,000-yard receiver or rusher since 2019. Number 13. Las Vegas Raiders – Lyantu Latu The Raiders already have Max Crosby and hope that 2023 first-rounder Tyree Wilson will emerge as a superstar as well. A defense-first coach like Antonio Pierce will love Latu's character and tireless work ethic as a run-stopper and dynamic pass rusher. 
Number 14, New Orleans Saints, Bo Nix. This would be perfect for the Saints. Nix isn't quite NFL ready, but there's no harm in sitting behind Derek Carr for a year or two before taking over the reins yourself. With no other clear-cut weaknesses on the roster, the Saints can afford to prioritize the future here. Number 15, Indianapolis Colts, Cooper to G. The Colts had the 24th ranked pass defense last year, and that was a key reason as to why they just missed out on a postseason berth. Well, the solution's easy here. Taking the top cornerback on the board. In this exercise, it's Iowa product Cooper to G, who racked up 13 pass defenses and 7 interceptions over his final two seasons of college ball. Number 16, Seattle Seahawks, Jerzon Newton. The Seahawks had the second-worst rush defense in 2023, allowing a pathetic 138.4 yards on the ground per contest. So, in other words, help wanted. Illinois product Jerzon Newton is the best run-stopping interior defensive lineman in this class. He is everything that the Seahawks need. Number 17, Jacksonville Jaguars, Kool-Aid McKinstry. Tyson Campbell had an awful 2023 season, and the Jaguars' pass defense fell apart as a result. The Jags need a pure lockdown corner like McKinstry, who displays elite coverage and ball hawking skills. If he comes as advertised, the Jaguars will have found their next Jalen Ramsey. Number 18, Cincinnati Bengals, Jared Verse. Trey Hendrickson is among the game's elite edge rushers already, but just imagine how much scarier this defense would actually be with Verse in the fold. The Florida State product had nine sacks last season and would automatically excel in a defense that doesn't have to blitz to create constant pressure. Number 19, Los Angeles Rams, J.J. McCarthy. Matthew Stafford has fought numerous injuries and is about to enter his age 36 season. So now it sort of feels like the perfect time for the Rams to draft and develop his successor. Michigan's J.J. McCarthy isn't the most naturally athletic or gifted passer in this class, but he has a high football IQ and big game experience. Number 20, Pittsburgh Steelers, Terry and Arnold. The Steelers struck gold when they took Joey Porter Jr. with the number 32 pick last year but the rest of the cornerback room is pretty spotty. Arnold is a top-flight ball hawker who had 12 pass breakups last season, so he and Porter Jr. could easily form the league's top cornerback duo. Number 21, Miami Dolphins, Leonard Taylor III. Injuries to Bradley Chubb and Jalen Phillips were painful reminders to Miami that defensive line depth is all too important in today's NFL. How about the hulking 305-pound Miami Hurricane star Leonard Taylor III, one of the top run defenders in this draft? Number 22, Philadelphia Eagles. Nate Wiggins. The Eagles secondary went from a strength in 2022 to absolutely unwatchable in 2023. Vic Fangio was a great hire at DC and all, but there is no way that that unit will improve with the same personnel. Clemson corner Nate Wiggins would inject some much needed youth, extra speed, and athleticism on an aging Philadelphia defense. Number 23, Houston Texans from Cleveland Browns. Braylon Trice. Houston hit a home run last year by trading up into the number three spot for Will Anderson Jr. That that young man has future superstar written all over him. But just imagine how much scarier this defense would get with Trice lining up with Anderson. Trice had 17 sacks over his final two years at Washington. His big game experience would mesh nicely on an up and coming Houston team looking to compete now. Number 24, Dallas Cowboys, Troy Fautanu. With Tyron Smith nearing the end of his career, the Cowboys need to think long-term on the offensive line. They already have one young cornerstone on that unit in Tyler Smith, so adding Fautano would have Dallas set up well in the trenches with Tyron and Zach Martin getting up there in age now. Number 25, Green Bay Packers, J.C. Latham. It just feels like the Packers will cut ties with the injury-prone and pass his prime tackle David Bakhtiari. If that ends up happening, taking an offensive tackle is a no-brainer for GM Brian Gutekunst. And it'd be a big-time win for the Pack if Alabama star J.C. Latham fell to them in the 25th spot. Number 26, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Quinion Mitchell. The Bucs secondary was uh, surprisingly the weak link in 2023, despite the presences of Jamel Dean, Carlton Davis, and pending free agent Antoine Winfield Jr. Toledo's Quinion Mitchell, who racked up 37 pass defenses over his last two seasons at college, would fit perfectly in Todd Bull's aggressive and opportunistic defense. Number 27, Arizona Cardinals, from Houston Texans, Amarius Mims. Arizona used its 2024 first-round pick on Paris Johnson Jr., who had an uneven rookie year. So taking Georgia's Amarius Mims here would suddenly give Arizona two potential franchise building blocks on the O-line. Mims is a plug-and-play guy who would immediately make life easier for Kyler Murray. Number 28, Buffalo Bills, Keon Coleman. We swear, if the Bills don't actually commit to finding a capable number two wide receiver to help out Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs this offseason, uh, well, if the Bills don't make a splash in free agency or the trade market, the pick has to be the top remaining wideout on the board here. Coleman and Diggs would be a nightmare of a tandem for opposing defenses. 
Number 29, Detroit Lions, Ennis Rakestraw Jr. If the Lions had a better secondary, they wouldn't have blown that 17-point lead to the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC Championship game. Just saying. So, with no other real weaknesses on the roster, the Lions have to go with defensive back here. Missouri's Ennis Rakestraw Jr. is a grade-A cover corner whose low INT totals shouldn't fool you. Opposing quarterbacks are just too smart to not throw in his direction. Number 30, Baltimore Ravens, Brian Thomas Jr. The Ravens hit the jackpot when they used their 2023 first-round pick on Zay Flowers, but more receiving help is definitely needed for the AFC runner-ups. The 6'4", 205-pound Thomas Jr. averaged 17.3 yards per catch and had 17 touchdowns in his final year at LSU. His ability to stretch the field and produce in the red zone will make Thomas the ideal complement to Flowers. Number 31, San Francisco 49ers, Cameron Kitchens. The 49ers secondary was, surprisingly, the main weak link during the regular season. Losing Talanoa Hafunga late in the season to an injury didn't help matters, and his absence further emphasized the 49ers' lack of defensive back depth. Miami safety Cameron Kinchins would immediately take care of that. Kinchins and Hafunga could easily form football's top safety tandem. Number 32, Kansas City Chiefs' Adonai Mitchell. Like Baltimore with Flowers, the Chiefs found a stud wide receiver in last year's draft with Rashi Rice. But the receiver room after Rice and Travis Kelsey leaves a lot to be desired. The 6'4 Mitchell averaged 15.4 yards per reception and had 11 touchdowns last year. If KC uses him right, they could have a mini Mike Evans on their hands. But which prospect are you hoping your favorite team will land in the 2024 NFL Draft? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.